With Governor Pete Ricketts being term limited, several Republicans have come forward saying they're ready to take a spot. And now we're learning about the first Democrat announcing their candidacy for the 2022 election. 3 News Now investigator Aaron Sandiford was there for the announcement. Nebraska's governor's race already has three Republicans in it. That's Jim Pillen, Charles Herbster, and Brett Lindstrom. Today it got its first Democrat, State Senator Carol Blood of Bellevue. Let's stop using words like conservative, progressive, liberal, far right, and other terms that label Nebraskans. So today I say let's get back to our roots and use words like Nebraskans friends, neighbors. Blood says she's running to help Nebraska move beyond the political extreme. You know, I think it's clear that people are sick and tired of the polarization and they want to see the narrative changed. This us versus them dynamic is not going to work any longer in Nebraska because it's pre preventing us from getting things done. She says politics focuses too much time and attention on issues that divide people and not enough on the things that people care about like property taxes and public health. I know that when Nebraska stands together and we work on issues and conduct ourselves in ways that create change for the better, our lives do get better. Nebraska Democrats like blood face an uphill battle. The state last elected a Democrat governor with Ben Nelson in 1994. Republicans hold a registration advantage of more than 220,000 voters. Blood's message was aimed at Nebraska's growing block of nonpartisans. But the GOP is paying attention. They posted an attack ad online before she announced. It criticizes her previous opposition to a bill restricting some abortions. In a statement, they also called her out of step with her Sarpy County District. They said they would share more soon about her record. Blood, asked about the ad and the attacks, called them half-truths and lies. We have so many issues that are being ignored, and what they're being the reason they're being ignored is because they're hearing false narratives about issues that really don't exist. Aaron Sandiford. Three News Now. Nebraska Demo Democratic Party Chairwoman Jane Klebb says she doesn't think any other Democrats plan on running. Former Republican Governor Dave Heineman and Nebraska Chamber of Commerce President Brian Sloan are also exploring possible runs.